Rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, is a condition which causes the joints in your body to become inflamed. It is the second most common form of arthritis and affects 1 to 3 in every 100 people in Ireland. Rheumatoid arthritis can affect people of all ages, though you are most likely to develop it between 30 and 50 years of age. Approximately three quarters of people who develop rheumatoid arthritis are women. Doctors describe it as an inflammatory disease which mainly affects your joints and tendons. In an inflammatory arthritis like yours, the central problem is inflammation. An inflamed joint is swollen, red and warm to touch. It is also painful. Inflammation is part of the body's natural defences or immune defences and in most diseases inflammation serves a positive purpose. It helps the body to cope with an upset such as an infection. If you cut your hand while gardening for instance and it becomes infected with some bugs or bacteria, a red swollen area of inflammation will develop around the wound. As the wound heals, the inflammation dies away. Our immune system protects us from bugs, bacteria and viruses. In simple terms, all cells have a substance on their surface called antigens. And all cells in your body have the same surface antigens. It's as if they're all wearing a name badge with your name on it, so that your body knows that these cells are not invaders from outside. If a cell is found in your body with a different antigen, or name badge, an intruder, like a bacteria or a virus for instance, your immune system will produce antibodies and killer cells to attack it. This attack is called an immune response. During an immune response, your blood delivers lots of antibodies and killer cells to where the bacteria or virus cells have been found. This process is described as an inflammatory response and it causes the area to become warm and swollen. However, when the immune system attacks parts of the body instead of protecting them, it's called an autoimmune reaction, and doctors don't fully understand why this occurs. In an autoimmune reaction, the body thinks that some of its own cells are intruders, because for some reason it doesn't recognize their antigens or name badge, and wrongly attacks them. In certain types of arthritis, including rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune reaction occurs mainly in the joints, so that they become red and swollen or inflamed. This inflammation is what causes the damage. It can come and go, causing flare-ups, which can persist for a long time. During a flare-up, the autoimmune reaction can affect other parts of the body also, and you may feel generally unwell. Part of the treatment for autoimmune disease can be to take medication which suppresses or blocks your immune system. These are called immunosuppressants. They suppress the autoimmune reaction, which is good because they stop your antibodies attacking your joints. However, they also block your ordinary immune response and you can therefore pick up infections more easily. In rheumatoid arthritis, your immune system attacks your joints and sometimes other parts of your body for no reason. The attack can go on for a long time or come and go. Inflammation particularly affects synovial membrane, tendon sheaths and bursae between the tendon. The joint capsule swells and the inflamed tissues in the bone become stiff, painful and swollen. If the inflammation is not tackled, it can damage the joints. We now know that much of this damage can happen in the first few months and years of rheumatoid arthritis. This is why it is vital that rheumatoid arthritis is diagnosed and treated as early as possible. Rheumatoid arthritis varies a lot from person to person. Although it can affect almost any joint, the hands and feet are usually involved. Knees and shoulders can also be affected and less commonly elbows, hips, the neck and other joints. Most people are affected in more than one joint and it usually affects both sides of the body, not always at once but usually within a very short space of time.
This is a question you may well have asked when you were diagnosed with ORA. And the simple answer is that we don't know exactly what causes it. Some genes, which control the immune system, can make people more likely to develop rheumatoid arthritis. Having these genes doesn't mean you will definitely get ORA though. It simply means you have a tendency to develop it. This is where it gets complicated and researchers think that something must trigger rheumatoid arthritis in certain people who are susceptible to it due to some genes they have. There is speculation, but no real evidence yet, that triggers might include stress, an infection, a virus, or hormonal changes. Rheumatoid arthritis may start suddenly, but more often, the symptoms develop slowly over a few weeks or months, which can make diagnosis much more difficult. Early morning stiffness, lasting for several hours, and painful swollen joints are typical features of rheumatoid arthritis. Tiredness and a general feeling of fatigue are also common. One of the most unpredictable things about rheumatoid arthritis is that symptoms can come and go. Most people experience flare-ups, which are periods when the inflammation suddenly gets more active so that pain, swelling and stiffness gets worse. You may find it very hard to move when the disease is active, especially when you wake up. And you may also feel generally unwell and very fatigued. Flare-ups can last a couple of days, or they can stretch on for a month or so. At other times, there is little inflammation, and these periods, which are known as remissions, can last for months or even years. As rheumatoid arthritis progresses, it can begin to destroy the cartilage and bone within the joint. The surrounding muscles, ligaments and tendons become weak and can't work properly. When this happens, the joint becomes unstable and it may then become deformed. Most people with rheumatoid arthritis experience some problems with their joints and have flare-ups from time to time, but overall they can carry on as normal with the help of some adjustments 